something we haven't really talked about is the team aspect and protecting your team. I mean, yes, you know when you've said yes and you pr- down the line, you're like, man, I, we shouldn't have done this or this isn't a good fit. But your team knows it too, right? Like, have you, what is it like for your team whenever they feel protected by you saying no to things that they have no business doing? By the way, that, that, I find that's one of the things that strengthens culture. Yes. When that team feels me come to them and include, and guys, what do you think here? I mean, because I've had a couple team members that I've had a team that's talked me into something that I thought was a warning. At the end of the day, you know, and those are the ones that are really worthy of group discussion. You know, they're saying yes, there's no. The ones that are beyond no, the ones that are, are you out of your mind, Jobs? Right? They don't, that's not really a, a discussion. I, we all know when we shouldn't be doing that. But um, yeah, when, when we're uncertain, and I love those actually, when I go to my team in the early stage and I'm going to field ops, the leader and the, the production guy and PMs and, and we're talking it through and, and we, because everybody wants to do a great job for the partner that's bringing us a project. So we, we're we not wanting to say no, but we we just we just want to really, we want to make people feel great about their decision to choose us, right? So um, yeah, so I think that's a, the, getting them included and not just me not just putting my emperor hat on and going, I'm making this decision and we're not going to do it. Yeah. Um, that can be demoralizing if you don't talk it through. Yeah, and and share that news with your team when you, yes, you did say no. Hey, I, I, we said no to this, and here's why. It it yes. it helps. They're like, wow, I'm that I appreciate that that I'm being yeah. protected from work that I don't want to be doing because it's it's not something I know how to do. Or, you know, a lot of times as a business owner, you're building the plane while you're flying it. You know, you're opening yes. up that new division while you're still doing the job for the first time and figuring out the margin and figuring out the systems to make it work. And that's the yeah. reality of it. And that's okay. But if you do too much of that at once, your team is really feeling the brunt of that, right? Is there a danger, Khalil, of saying no too often and it impacts your culture in a way? So those, again, in, my, in, our, in our business, a lot of times it's it's account managers or project managers. Mm-hmm. Um they're quick to say no because um, I don't know. They don't want to stretch for it. Make I, that's that's the thing I worry about a lot. Is are we getting ourselves in a place where it's too easy to say no? Which, by the way, yeah, we need new business, right? We need to grow our business. Yeah. We need profitable jobs. But maybe, well, this might be harder than I want to work. Well, you know, yeah, I know that figuring a different. You don't problem, want but people. I, I've seen that where it can affect the culture. Yeah in a way that I don't like. Yeah, well, especially if you're not full uh, with your capacity. If your capacity is not full, then right. yeah, let's start Go saying for- yes, but hopefully you're full of, your capacity is near full and it's like, hey, we, we really don't need to be saying yes to more uh, types of projects. We need to be saying yes to the right projects only, right? Um, and you know that's the sign of a healthy, healthy pipeline, healthy culture, um, healthy business. But yeah, I, I don't know. I don't think personally, t- typically you see way more often that the problems they're saying yes to too much, not they're saying no to too much. Um, I would say that's the more common problem, right? 